Hi guys, it's Deborah from Time with Jewel by Deborah. Today we are opening up box E of the Thread Up 15 piece. This is a Mechanicsburg box. The last few boxes have been really heavy on earrings. I am hoping for some lovelies. Let's see when we ordered this one. This was ordered February 4th and it's Mechanicsburg. Let's save the paper. Okay, ooh, this bag is really light. Let's hope that means some good stuff. Okay, here's first looks. Lots of earrings again. Oh, kind of looks like amber. Alright, so I'm going to take everything out and we will get started. All right, so I have everything laid out and separated. Let's see, let's start with a necklace first. Let me get Pressy warmed up here. Turn her on. That's always a good thing when you hear me say, let's turn on Pressy. So this is a beautiful antique gold tone bracelet necklace. It is a Talbot's. It has glass beads in different colors, greens, whites, pinks, and it looks like tiger's eye. This measures in a 17 inch wearable length. Let's do her for 12. Then we have a fun one. This is great for spring and summer. Gold tone. These are faceted and they're very hard. They're a lucite, they are not glass. Bring this up so you can see the faceting on the stone. And they are a green, and you see the white marbling through there. Excellent. This is what the back looks like. Here is the tag. I'm sorry, the clasp. It does have an extender. Let me get you a measurement on her. Where she sits right now, she is a seven and a quarter. And then there is another three inches. This is a nice color. Let's do this one for, let's do her for eight. Okay, then we have a gorgeous Kate Spade black faceted stone necklace, gold tone. Excellent. They are faceted and prong set. Let me show you what the back looks like. That's the back. Here is the, <clears throat> excuse me, Kate Spade New York symbol. It has a dangle ball on the end. Let me get you the measurement on her. Where she sits right now, she is a seven inch wearable with another inch and a half extender. So for this Kate Spade, let's do, let's do 30 on her. She's gorgeous. All right. Then we have a new with partial tag let me see if i can find that here it is you can see it was right there this is a j crew antique gold tone with white these are plastic with rhinestone settings in between station necklace she measures in its 17 inch wearable so for this j crew let's do 15 on her then we have a fantastic piece. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is sterling silver, very heavy, with blue glass stones that are faceted, past, present, future. Even the bail has some decoration on it. It is marked on the back, EX, EX, which is Claudia Agueldo. A-G-U-D-E-L-O. And she designs out of Cor um, Corona Del Mara, California. Excellent designer to know. It was new to me brand. It does test as sterling silver. It is an 8-inch wearable. Let me get you a measurement on this lovely pendant. That is 2 inches by... 
just under three <clears throat> quarters of an inch. It is marked here. It is marked there. And it is also marked sterling, and I did test it. It is sterling silver. Heavyweight piece. So for the Claudia, let's do 110. Okay. Then we have a fun bracelet. Hematite with a seafoam blue. More of a blue than a green, but like a seafoam blue glass uh, cat's eye on the inside. Gorgeous bracelet. Different. I like this one. So it's unique. It's seven and a half. It has three extra dangles here, so I believe you could maybe, maybe clip them on, or you could take them off if they get annoying, <laughs> but it is a seven and a half inch, very nice bracelet. Let's do her for 10. Then we have Rustic Cuff. I haven't seen one in this design. Uh, I usually see them with rhinestones on them. So this is a nice change. It is silver tone, marked rustic cuff. Where it sits right now is at about a six and a half. And you can see you can make it smaller or larger. It's a mesh bracelet. Let's get you <clears throat> exactly how small and how large you can make it. So the smallest you could make it is a six, and the largest you could make it is an eight. Very nice condition. That's the front and the back. So for this rustic cuff bracelet, let's do 10 on that. Okay, this was another new to me brand. This is Sterling Silver with a beautiful teal bright green ovations it's called 925 dangle kind of like a pandora this and you screw this on and off that's how you take on or add different charms this is a it's called the princess bead it's 925 and these are in honor of cancer. They are just beautiful. Just for the bead itself, it is $65 just for the bead on the website. And the bracelet, I didn't even see this one it's still there. So for this beautiful one, it is adjustable. Let me get you a measurement on this. It naturally sits at a seven and three quarters. It could go a little smaller or a little larger. It is solid sterling silver. So for this one, we could do, let's do 80 on that. That's gorgeous. Okay, then we're gonna get to some earrings. These are interesting. Semi-circle with rhinestones. They have some wear here, but it is an antique gold tone. They're made by Kevia, K-E-V-I-A. Get you a measurement on this. These measure down with the full dangle. It would be two and a quarter inches. That's what they look like. You can see it looks like there's some wear, but I'm not sure. Maybe it was made that way because they both have the same amount of wear on them. Nice. So, for the Kivia earrings, let's do six. Okay. Then we have a pair of Ralph Lauren. It's marked RLL. -L. Hammered little leaf design with a red bead dangle earring. These measure in at half of an inch by three quarters of an inch. Those are lovely. Let's do these for eight okay, some more earrings here these are nice they are clear rhinestones faceted these feel like plastic i have pressy out let me check and we'll see if that's glass or not let me bring this into sight for you 
nope, it looks like it's plastic. Let me check these stones. Okay, those are coming up as glass, so they are a mixed material. Silver tone. The dangle on these is two and three quarters inch, and that large teardrop on the bottom would measure in about just over three quarters of an inch wide. These are lovely. I will put some earring backs with these. For these, let's do eight. All right. Then we have a pair of silver tone large stud earrings. Let's see. I'm going to get you a millimeter on this. They are seven millimeter. Looks like there's some wear here. You can barely see it, but it looks like it had been, the color has been rubbed off. So I will just put those in craft for a dollar if anyone's interested. All right. The last three pieces. Yay. <laughs> okay. Let's go with these studs. These are by Swarovski. They have a 14 karat gold white stud. But the setting itself is sterling silver. That's what it looks like, the sparkle. Let me get to the millimeter on her. It is five millimeter. Beautiful coloration on that. I love it. I don't know why they would put a 14 karat gold stud, but then have the setting is sterling. To me, that makes no sense, but you know. That's why they get paid the big bucks, right? <laughs> so for these Swarovski uh, cubic zirconia-ish earrings, let's do let's do 15 on those. They they sparkle like a cubic zirconia, but they are Swarovski. Okay, next up we have a pair of amber earrings. Beautiful little sun shape. The amber itself is six millimeter. Get you the millimeter on the sun. That would be 10 millimeter. This is what they look like. Nice. Let's see if we can get the black light to show any of that. I'm gonna try to hide it, but they do glow. Let me turn off this light. All right, we'll see if we can get that to glow for you. I hope you can see that. I know that other light kind of blocks it, but it does glow. They are amber. So for these beautiful amber earrings, let's do, let's do 25. All right, when I first saw this, the stones look black to me, but what I did is I shined a light through the back of the stone it is open and they are blue because they looked black let me bring that up I'm gonna try to bring that up so you guys can see that blue okay there but from the front when you have your finger in there it almost looks black so I did test it it is 10 karat gold let me get you the ring size it is just under a seven inch lovely design and it did test as a london blue topaz and these set stones here on the side are clear topaz it's a lovely lovely ring it would look really nice in the sunlight i think you would see that blue so for this for it being 10 karat gold and the london blue topaz Let's do 110. All right, you guys. This was another great lot. I am very pleased with this. There are some really beautiful pieces, different designs. Um, I love, of course, the sterling and the gold. That's always great. But I do enjoy this Kate Spade. I think it's pretty. We, I learned a new name today with this one. So just leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite piece is. And if you are interested, all the information you need is down there in the description. You can email me at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com with all the information. I do ship out once a week unless you would like it sooner. I invoice on Sunday evening or Monday mornings. 
So that way it gives you a chance to shop all week and to put more items in so it will shave, save you on shipping. And I have no problem with that, but if you would like your items sooner, just in the email, make sure that you let me know that you'd like me to invoice you right away. And uh, you guys have a great one. Be well, and I will see you really soon. Bye, you guys.